So what are your thoughts on growing Kato algae in a reactor versus growing Kato algae in your sump? What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're traveling back in time yet again to MACNA 2019. I had the opportunity to take a look at a product that grows Kato algae a little bit differently than we're, what we're used to. I grow Kato down in the sump using a refugium light. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon to be notified every single time I make a new video. Okay, so here we are behind the scenes, and yes, I know that Kato algae reactors have been out for a while, but this was back in 2019, so I just wanted to share with you guys. And remember, if you haven't picked up any Coral Reef Talk merch already, the link will be in the description below for the Teespring site, so go check that out. But now on to the interview. Hey everyone, we're here at the Pax Bellum booth here at Magna. I'm with Tristan uh, to talk a little bit about what they have going on. This is a, um, like an algae reactor, correct? Yeah, it's the original macroalgae reactor called the ARID. It's an algae remediation illuminated device. Um, this is our smallest model, the N18. It's a uh, bottom up flow. So unlike a refugium, um, the water is, won't channel around the algae. It's gonna be pushed right through the entire mass. Um, it's uh, centrally illuminated. LED, and it's, uh, all the LEDs are wrapped around a heat pipe for cooling, so they're cooled from the backside, and that uh, reduces uh, scale buildup on the light sleeve, as well as prolongs the life of the LEDs and acts as a fail-safe should water stop flowing to the reactor. Uh, you have some time before the algae will cook. And then all of that around the light is what like the algae takes hold of and like yep. helps so, hold it? So if you're starting off with just like a handful of uh, Kato, you can just uh, use this armature to spread it evenly along the, the entire axis of the, the lights. And then I take it with all the uh, with the electronic components, you don't set this inside the sump, right? This is an external. It's designed to be uh, external. It's pressure rated, but you can hang it on the inside of a sump, like on the rim, as long as the uh, the electronics don't get submerged. Gotcha. And um, what uh, what are the different sizes? What are they rated up to? So this is the N18. This is a uh, 40 to 150 gallons. We have the N24 which is 120 to 250 gallons. We have the C30, which is 200 to 500 gallon. And then we have the big boy over here that's uh, 300 to 1,000 gallon system. Yeah. And they can be plumbed in parallel. So if you need larger capacity than that, you can run it off a common manifold. Yeah. And what, what are some more um, benefits growing like your Kato algae this way versus just having it sitting in a chamber in the sump? Um, in a sump or a refugium, you get the water will channel around much of the algae, whereas this is forced through. You also have uh, optimal light, um, and this is also sealed from atmospheric gases like CO2, so the algae can't just pull as much CO2 as it wants, creating excess sugars, water yellowing. This is limited to the bicarbonate in the water as well as the CO2 respired by your tank organisms. Okay. And then just once a week or once a month or something, you just open it up, pull the algae out. Yep, um, every other week at least, uh, we recommend opening it up. Um, if your chamber is full, like in the picture there, take out up to a third, rinse the remaining two thirds in uh, some water you plan to discard, and then just uh, put it back into the chamber tighten it down, turn the pump back on. Cool. And then you're good to go. And then you have uh, some other products right here in front. Um, is that for like helping growth or? Yeah, they come with samples of our iron manganese and you just want the iron manganese uh, present 
to ensure that your algae can grow. And then we also have the uh, nitrogen molybdenum, uh, which you dose as needed to maintain a 100 to 1 ratio of nitrate to phosphate. So algae will take up nitrates a lot quicker than phosphate. So if your nitrates dip below that 20 to 1 ratio, um, you'll, your algae will stall growing. So you can just dose this and the algae will continue to take up more phosphate. Very cool. So uh, where can people find more information and maybe uh, pick up their own? Uh, you can pick them up at Unique Corals, uh, Marine Depot, saltwateraquarium.com, um, a few other smaller outlets. Yeah, awesome. Very nice. Thank you, Tristan. Thank you. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you learned something. And if you want more information on the Pax Bellum Reactor, I'll have links in the description below, as well as a link to Marine Depot, because you can pick one up for yourself over there. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, once again, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon to be notified every single time I make new videos. And if you wanna pick up some Coral Reef Talk merch, you can head over to the Teespring shop and get a t-shirt or a coffee mug. I'll leave the link down below as well. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.